New Zealand is bracing for Cyclone Gabriel, which is on its way from the Pacific Ocean. A country which has not ev even recovered from last month's floods will now be dealing with the storm unleashed by the cyclone. Now, people in the country's largest city of Auckland and its surrounding areas are being warned of more than heavy rain, flooding and strong winds. Cyclone Gabriel is currently 200 kilometers northwest of New Zealand. It is forecast to move close to the east coast over the next 24 hours. Prime Minister Chris Hipkins said that such weather events have made the start of the year incredibly challenging. Civil defence centres and shelters have been set up across the top of the North Island and they are ready to use in the event that people have to evacuate. For Northland, Auckland, the Coromandel and the Bay of Plenty, the start of the year has been incredibly challenging. Extreme weather event has come on the back of extreme weather event. For families and businesses, I know that that has been just exhausting, and I want to acknowledge how hard many of them are doing it. Though the severity of the cyclone is expected to slow down a little before it strikes in New Zealand, a state of emergency is still in place in Auckland and at least five other regions. Many schools and government facilities across Auckland and the Upper North Island have been closed. People have been asked to avoid travelling. Though the cyclone is yet to strike, its oncoming effects are being felt. Electricity is out in more than 40,000 homes and cell phone service is patchy in some areas. Trees have fallen and roots lifted by strong winds.